Okay, um, I guess it's time to start the video. Got my uh, what I'm calling my breakfast cooking, even though A, it's already 3 30, B, it's ramen. <sighs> Still trying to fix my sleep schedule because after getting all those phone calls in the middle of the night from people, I just got used to. Of course, you know, with me, I accepted a bunch of friend requests that I shouldn't have just because I didn't know the people. I still don't know most of those people, and they wound up calling me in the middle middle of the night, and my body just got used to waking up in the middle of the night. And of course, part of that is one of my neighbors found out, like in this, one of my neighbors in the same apartment I live in found out my phone number. Somebody that I used to work with like 10 years ago found out my phone number, and both of those people wound up calling me in the middle of the night, knocking on my door. I had one of them stop by at three o'clock in the morning to ask for cigarettes when I've stopped smoking and I made it clear that I've stopped smoking. I had another person call me at 3 a.m. so they could call a taxi because they didn't know how to call a taxi from where they were. So here's the thing. I don't know whether I'm going to be doing this or not. I may stop doing the whole video thing because that's keeping me up late. It took me three hours last night to edit yesterday's video. Two to three hours, give or take. And that's about average for a video of mine. So, you know what? I may stop for a little bit, maybe, while I get my sleep schedule back in track. Let me know down below if you think that's a good idea. And here's the thing. If I do wind up stopping for, a, first off, if I do wind up stopping, if I do, and that's an if, it'll make it easier for me to focus on getting myself where I need to be putting myself in a better mindset, being able to actually sleep at night and wake up during the day, all that stuff. It'll help me reset everything and put myself in a better mood. But at the same time, by me saying that I'm gonna be doing that if I decide to do it, I won't be gone completely. I for sure will have my Instagram that I'll update on. And if something happens, I'll try and record it and put it here still, but the videos will just be less often. And that's if I decide to take a break from YouTube. Here's the thing. I used to be able to, I used to be able to do release <coughs> one vlog a day and one gaming video a day and then start to come up with ideas for stuff on my extras channel. Then all this stuff happened. I started not getting any sleep. I, I didn't have the best sleeping schedule before, but at least it was a regular sleep schedule. Uh, when I did this, uh, before, probably a year and a half, two years ago, I would, I would edit my vlog and record at least one gameplay video per day. Still have time to edit everything and go to bed by about 1.30 to 2 o'clock. Wake up between 9 and 10 the next morning and do the entire thing all over again. While still coming up with ideas for my extras channel. But here's the thing. Ever since I started accepting these friend requests from people, and these are people that I do not know, mind you, I started accepting friend requests from people, and people would wind up calling me in the middle of the night, waking me up at 3 o'clock, waking me up at 4 o'clock. I would get back to sleep around 5 or 6 a.m., and at that point, I would be sleeping all day because it's just the way my body is. I need to sleep a full eight hours. If it's anything less, I sleep through my alarm, regardless of how loud the alarm is, which is weird because I wake up to a phone call, but I don't wake up to my alarm. But here's the thing. I used to be able to do all this thing. Then I started receiving phone call after phone call after phone call after phone call after phone call. Even after I would make multiple posts a day every day saying, don't call me between this time and that time. I would still get phone calls daily from people. And pretty soon my body just got used to staying up until 4 a.m. Of course, all this stems from me accepting all those friend requests. I get that. But 
here's the thing. There's two things that are lacking in today's world. Common sense and respect. Common sense would tell you, hey, if they live in the United States, they have a different time zone than somebody who lives in Nigeria. They might be asleep. And respect would be double-checking where they live, finding out what time it is there, and not calling them in the middle of the night. I, mean, I understand if something, an emergency, happens. But calling just to sit on the phone, not saying anything, and then eventually asking for money is not an emergency. My fat ass has money coming in, and I'm barely doing shit. So, here's the thing. I understand completely that all my issues right now with the fact that I'm not sleeping well, and then when I do finally get to sleep, I fall asleep when everybody else is waking up and sleep all day. I get all of that stems from me and my actions. I completely understand. I get it. That is not why I am complaining. It's the fact that I want to get my shit together, and I feel like it's difficult. And at this point, I feel like it's impossible because every time I start making steps towards getting my life together, everything fucks up. Recently, recently, it hasn't been the phone calls. Recently, it's been like yesterday, there was that woman that was waiting outside the door to talk to us, to cuss us out about how she can make noise but we couldn't and how we should move away. Or you should be glad we're not a different race because if you're a different race, I can guarantee you would be a Look, I don't follow me. Don't know. Yes, don't follow Do not apologize. Don't, do not continue to pound at I do what hours I want. of the day. Because I, I can do rent too, dude. I got more rent than you fucking do. I me too. I and I got three jobs. Yeah, me too. So I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Me too. Yeah. We all do. <sighs> Trying to remember what happened the day before because something happened the day before. Something happened the day before. I'm gonna look into it. Oh yeah, so going back to what I was saying. Yesterday? Yesterday was that woman. Why are you getting mad? Because you're in my face and you're fucking ugly. And that was the 20th. So the 19th, which was Sunday for me, was that redneck racist saying that. If you want to read through it, you can pause. And then the 18th, which was Saturday for me, was the drunk guy rubbing his uh, pea-covered pants all over me while he was still wearing them. So I'm trying to, my, I'm trying my best. But if one thing's not happening, it's another. And like I was saying before, I may have to take a step away from making YouTube videos to try and get everything under control. Well. I'm out, uh, I figured I might as well, since I left, I brought my camera with, but I left the SD card at home, so I can't record on my camera. So I figured I may as well test out my phone to see if my phone's working. Well, I don't know if y'all can hear me with the bus sitting right next to me, but I just got done with the, uh, meal and Bible study and everything. Still not used to it being this dark this early. I'm still not used to it being this dark this early. But I'm waiting for a bus. I'm waiting for a bus. Heading back where I need to go. And uh, I'll figure stuff out. I did get a bunch of shirts though. So that's a good thing. That way I actually get to... Well, of course I need to catch up on my laundry. But now I can actually change my shirts. And not have to worry about wearing the same one over and over. Not that that would happen if I actually did my laundry. But y'all get what I'm saying, right? Alright, uh, I'm home. I'm using my actual camera. Um, really, cat? I brought that coat over to see if Eric wanted it. I can see you want it. Yeah, I got that coat. I got all that stuff. Most of it's clothes. I've got, uh, in there I've got five shirts for me. Uh, two shirts for Eric. A couple sweaters, one for me, one for Eric. And I've got lasagna and a few snacks. So, a lot of stuff in here. And then I also brought my tripod, kind of thinking I brought everything I needed to put on the tripod, but I brought the camera and left the SD card at home. So, kind of been distracted, haven't been sleeping well. My Nobody's fault but my own for being distracted, so.
Really, cat? You really like that coat, don't you? So, uh, I've been kind of thinking off and on about, I want to start driving again now that I'm actually able to start saving money. Um, now that it's getting easier for me to save money. Um, I've kind of been thinking off and on about getting a new car. And not just any car, I want to get a Tesla. Alright? I need to get my driver's license first. Again, well, reinstated. It's kind of been not a priority when I was homeless and I just haven't gotten it reinstated since I got my place. But, um, I want a Tesla. And I'm able to go down and take a bus down to get a Tesla. But, like I said, I need to get my driver's license back before I do that. That and I don't know what Tesla I want to get. Um, so, my question, what would you guys recommend I get if I got a Tesla? Alright, cat. I was just going to make sure you were okay. I heard uh, something and I wasn't sure if it was you running or if it was you falling. Yeah, I'll let you get back to looking out the window. All right. Uh, so, with all the uh, changes coming to Marvel, I just learned of a, well, kind of, new character for me. It is Purple Man. Also known as Zebediah Kilgrave. I know he was in the Jessica Jones TV show as Kilgrave. Which I haven't seen that, but... I didn't realize, um... That I didn't realize that he was actually... No, also known as Purple Man. And, uh... I kind of want to see if they'll uh, add him to... the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh. Anyway, if y'all made it this far, give me a like. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that bell notification. Um, I've got a um, couple clips to edit. And I'll get the video edited. Uh, I'll debate whether I upload tonight or tomorrow as I'm editing and everything. I do still have a few videos that I want to watch before I go to bed, so I may upload tonight. So if y'all made it this far, give me a like, subscribe if you haven't, hit that bell notification. I do look forward to seeing y'all in the next video.